do you want to install an antenna like this so that way they can have internet in the other side in that uh, trailer that you see over there i'm going to teach you step by step how all right in this video we're going to unbox the well mounts bracket so this is what we use when we have to install an antenna outside uh, in this case i want to verify that this is something that comes with everything no no clamp so when you have this antenna as you can see here the, we have to remove all this plastic as you can see here so i'll teach you how to make it work how to install it so basically you have the the anchors that goes into the wall you have these big screws as you can see it goes into the wall with this so you have to make a hole so the way it works with this you put the antenna here and in this case you have to put this like this or like that so that way you put the screws the square screws goes here as you can see and the long screw is this one goes like that you see so but you have to make sure that you're going to use the square don't use the the round uh, hole with a square otherwise it will not work if you do it you know the other way it, it will spin all the time so this is the way how you can lock it down so if you, if you put it like that here then you go through so the way if you want to spin it it will not go anywhere and you can put the screw the nut here and you will be good so we're going to put it uh, just like this you have this hole here so that way it will make your life easier when you have to put the the screw is a little bit a pain in the butt but it's possible there you go and then you put the nut here you can tighten it up later with the impact so as you can see this is how it looks like now we can do the same here you put the screw it, it will fit on the square thing and then use this and then once you have this like that you put this like this in the square as you can see here and then you adjust it like that and then if you want you can move it you know up and down whatever you want to put it the way you want to put it and then you put it here outside on the wall and that's it you make a hole here another more hole here and that's it so that is how it works with this so now for now we're going to leave it like that in later i'll show you how to put it on the wall right as you can see everything is working we're going up well, now we're going to install this bracket as you can see on the wall so that way we can make the hole as you can see we can have we have all the roof i think at this height we are going to be good so that way we can go through the other side we're going to put it there and then we're going to make the marks so that way we can put it in on the on the wall so you can put it just on the brick or between the the bricks it is up to you so it depends uh, sometimes i mean if you can put it in between the bricks the better otherwise in the brick it will be a, a, the same thing just in case if they want to remove it later it will be easier to patch later so once we have that we're going to try to make the hole with the 
hammer drill, just with the basic hammer drill and see how, how long it takes to make the hole. So the, the boom, the scissor lift is moving so a little bit, so it's going to be a little bit shaking. So it seems like it doesn't go any further than that. So it's very hot, you have to be very careful when you remove the drill bit. I forgot to bring the hammer. So now we're going to grab the other drill bit with the rot roto hammer drill. Uh, and as you can see, it's almost the same size. Now we're going to use the Ryobi. And now let's see how long does it take to use the roto hammer drill. Wow, <laughs> as you can see, it's way faster. As you can see, we, got, we were able to do the same thing in a few seconds. As you can see, it's more, more efficient, but I, I wanted to show you the difference between using a hammer drill, regular hammer drill, and a roto hammer drill. Now, we're going to try to use these brackets and see how it goes. So now I'm going to make the hole a little bit bigger so that way the anchor will fit just fine. I made the hole a little bit bigger, otherwise it won't fit. Uh, usually what I do is I use the little drill bit the, so that way it will be faster. Uh, the other, the, the one that comes with the kit with this type of anchors is, is just for the hammer drill. So that I use it just to make it, uh, the hole, you know, the right size. Now I, I forgot the hammer, so I'm trying to use the hammer drill. <laughs> but ideally, it would be to use the the, the hammer. Uh, I didn't put it all the way because I didn't want to, you know, bend it. Now I have to push the gas. Uh, I have another video that I'm, I'm teaching how to use this type of uh, a boom lift. And now we have to go through over the, the dumpster so that way we can we don't have to squish anything. Now also I need a longer drill bit because I have to run the cable through the other side. But as you can see, you have a nice height here. Now we are sun and safe on the ground almost. And maybe it will shake a little bit when we touch the ground. There we go. Now we're going towards my van. I'm going to grab the camera. I have to grab a, a drill bit. As you can see, this drill bit is huge one, but it's going to be good. Now we're going to eat some protein. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for the other guy to come. So this this meat is amazing. <laughs> it's a dry meat. And let's start in a little bit when he arrives. So now we have the cable, we have everything. Now let's go up again. Now we push the gas once again. And let's go up. There we go. Now much better. Now it's going perfect, as you can see. Excellent. Now we're going to use Milwaukee. Just the right bit. This kit is, is, is good enough. 
I don't like it much. I prefer the the Ryobi. You see, sometimes it's so hard. I have to use the plier just to remove the the bits. And we're going to the impact driver. I forgot the washer, so I have to go down again to grab the washers. I found out that this boom lift has a turtle mode because it, it is. This boom lift is kind of old and I couldn't find it. So it was kind of fast to move it around. So as you can see, I have everything. I have all the washers now going up. We should be good. Now we are great. Now push the gas pedal and now we're going up. Let's try to put the, set it on the turtle mode. So that way we can move it slowly, otherwise you know, it's too fast when you need a precision. We're going to work a little bit farther away from the wall. Even with the turtle mode, it's still too fast. So now we are in good position. And let's grab the, um, the screwdriver, the, the right bit. And with the impact driver, as you can see, we'll stay in place. It's perfect. Now this is called the second one. All right. Now, now it's very secure. Now you should hold any stop big storm or something like that. Now let's put all the screws over there, so that way we can start putting all uh, all in place. All the anchors and all, all the screws, I'm not going to use them. I'm going to use the one that are the one for the arm itself. Have the nut and the screws, and that's it. So be careful when you work on this, there is no spare nut. If, if you drop it, you will spend, you know, like 10 minutes just to go down, another 10 minutes to go up. So make sure that you do it very slowly. You put it uh, down, it will be easier. If you put the arm down, it will be easier to put the, the screws. It has like a small hole where it will be easier. So as you can see, you put it in one side and then you can let it go will not fall. Now you do the same thing on the other side. It's a weird design, but you know, it works. It's a good thing that it's not that cold, otherwise it will fr freeze my hands. So with the um, impact driver, we can use the socket set. As you can see, we're going to adjust it a little, little bit. So with a quarter of a turn, we will do the trick. As you can see, the square side and in the other side is all round. So if you put the square part with the square part, uh, it will not spin uh, freely. So that is why it's very important to have this impact driver so that way you can have it in your belt. As you can see, it's completely square. So you have to put it there. As you can see, if you put it in the other side, it will spin freely. If you put it in the other side, it's the way it should be. If you put it like that, as you can see, it will stay in place. Otherwise, you should have, if you, if you don't have that, you have to have something, you know, to put it in place in the other side. But as you can see, like this is good. When you hear that it's is doing the little clack 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 it means that it's impacting and that uh, it has enough strength to stay you know for many years so it's a string it's i mean it's in good shape everything so now we're going to put everything back so the the bracket is strong enough to stay in place and hold you know a strong a storm now we're going to put the big uh, powerful mighty roto hammer drill now we're going to use the the protectors so the way we can protect our ears and let's go
Vean, sí. There you go. Very easy. A few seconds, it's amazing. I think it, it still there is something I'm going to tell the customer just to hold the, the cable. Right. He's going to send me uh, some wires so that way we can run the cable through the hole. As you can see, that is my cargo bin. So I'm going, I'm waiting for the customer so that way we can continue with that. Now the customer put the, the wire and that is how you put the, the cable. And if you grab it, you know, like a five inches, the cable with the wire, that will be enough. As you can see, and, and at the end, make sure that the, the cable will not stick out, so that is why you have to, you know, end up the end the, the electric tape very well. So that way, you know, you're not going to have any problem. I'm going to tell the customer now that he can pull. And hopefully inside, I think a 10 feet will be enough. There you go. I'm doing some signs, so that way you can see everything. Have the cable is a little bit tangled inside. There you go. This is a mess of cable, but that is the cable that I had with me. We have to call the customer to ask if the cable is going good or not, because you have to reach the rack in, on the other side. So always I like to leave like like three or four feet, so that way I have, I have enough, you know, to accommodate the, the antenna and everything. So this is not an external cable. But I'm going to paint it later. The customer gave me some paint. And uh, sometimes you use, you know, you use whatever the customer gives you or whatever you have at hand. But usually, if I can, I like to buy, you know, everything. So that way, you know, everything goes well. But with the paint, the cable will, will last for many years. Anyway, the, if you have to replace it, I don't know, 10 or 20 years, it's not that difficult. As you can see, in, the, in this type of antenna, it didn't come with the, this type of uh, clamp, like hose clamps. And I usually comes with the zip ties, but I prefer the metal ones. It lasts for a long time. Otherwise, if you use the plastic, they will fall in maybe a few months or next summertime. Always try to have as many tools and things in your cargo bin so that way you don't have to go back and forth to the uh, hardware store. If you need ele electronics, tools, or anything like that, and you're outside of the United States, just let me know. Uh, I am in the US and I can send you anything through FedEx, UPS, or whatever. So now we have to go higher a little bit uh, more. So that way I am a little bit more comfortable. And then I'm going to extend it a little bit with that a little button until I am in the right place. There we go. Now I'm going to put this. And I'm going to grab the impact driver. So that way you can just everything. It's the best way, better than a regular screwdriver. It's moving a little bit out of my of the range of my camera, but it's good. As you, can, as you can see, you can spin it. I like this a lot because if you push it, it will allow you to move it freely. As you can see, to put the the cable. And then later you can adjust it and then it will be very tight. And you can aim it to whatever you want to aim it. I forgot uh, to bring the crimper tool, <laughs> so I have to go back again. Make sure that when you go down, make sure that you don't, you don't have anything under you that you can squeeze. So I'm going to grab all the tools that I have to put away because I'm not going to use them anymore. So I'm going to take advantage of this, put everything away. 
Uh, usually I have this tool here in this toolbox. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm trying to put you know labels and everything so that way I can have everything better organized. Oops. Okay. It's very important if you can put everything in place because if you're not organized, you're not gonna find anything and everything will take you, you know, double or triple of time. So I try to keep everything, you know, as organized as, as possible as you can see. So as you can see, I have the, the the masonry or the concrete drill bit. As you can see, I leave it uh, with the same uh, anchors and screws, so that way I know the size for each one of them. So that way, when I have to make a hole, I use the little. If I have to use the little screw, I use the little drill bit, and if I need the bigger one, I use the other one. As you can see, I put everything where it should go uh, with the labels it helped me to find things faster so now I have the I have to find I have to get the RC RSA 45 as you can see I have everything in one place if you like the order that I have in my toolbox you can do the same grab two little RC 45 let's use the the original ones, one for inside and another one for outside. So we can organize everything by color, so you had it. I'm not going to use the, tape, the electric tape now. Later we have to use some silicone to cover the hole. We're going to use the brown one better. Very important so the way you don't get water inside. No bugs, no anything like that. Put everything back. Close the doors. Now we have to lock the door. In a few days I'm going to install the remote control, so I have to wait. Otherwise you waste too much time, you know go into the driver's side to just open and, and close uh, or to lock and unlock the doors. All right, as you can see, we have the antenna, everything is good. Now, now we have the, the palo cable. Now I'm going to paint. The cable, as you can see, the paint. I have the cutting gun. Yeah, I like it. Them, I like it a lot because it's cordless, random battery, it's battery operated. Now I have to remove the cup, so so that way we can start working. Hopefully it will work. Otherwise, I have to use a, a drill to unclog it. And now, as you can see, it works. It works. Have a lot, a lot, like a chocolate. Now we're going to fill up the hole. But before I do that, I'm going to crimp it so that way all the slack that we are not going to use is going inside. I have the crimper. We're going to grab this. We we'll have to strip the cable and put the RC45. RC45. Now, as usual, if you don't know how to trim the, the cable, in, I have in my playlist how to put the this, how to trim it. Also, my website, I have a classes about networks. So, if you want to learn more, I have exclusive videos. Now let's start cleaning the connector. I'm going to prepare the cable. We have to put first the the protector, the RJ45 protector. And we have to verify that all the 
cables get inside dark light dark light dark light dark it, it has to be norm uh, B but you can use A as well I explain all those things in my other classes blue in the middle the green ones on the on the side and then we have the orange on the very left and the brown one in the very right so the way to make sure that you have it right is light dark light dark light dark light dark and now we have to put it all together and i'm going to to cut it now we're going to use the victory knocks the sever tool Otherwise, we're going to. Otherwise, you can use the Milwaukee to cut the cables. Now, the plug. And this is a path through ECRJ45. I like it a lot as well. There you go. This type of connector it works great. Now, I have to, to see again. Light, dark, light, dark, light, light, dark, and light, dark. And we have everything uh, good otherwise if you have like light or dark dark means that something is wrong now i'm going to put the away the big dry knobs close it if you leave it you know open with the scissor you're going to cut yourself now i'm going to cut the, the cables you see this uh, cream tool is amazing the only flaw is when you put it that the the metal goes you know in, in, in between and then that is why it bends because i squeeze it when the metal holder was in the wrong place as you can see i'm going to put the protector just in case if they pull the cable it will not get damaged the connector now we push and then we spin it we turn it so that way we can spin it freely as you can see we put it in main. Now we put the cover back on. Push it. You have to put another cable. You can remove the other piece. Now you spin it. And it will be perfect. It will be aiming to the trailer. Now it's very firm. Now we can put the remaining cable inside and we can use the the cocking gun just fill it up that, that's it everything is very browny we could have used the clear one but that is the one I I had also they may paint later. Anyway, we're going to paint it here. And everything will be gray like the wall. And the cable will be protected, you know, I guess the UV light. I'm going to paint the, the bracket as well. So that way, Everything is going to look like the wall. This is the antenna. Just the other side a little bit. And attention to the detail. We should be good. This is the antenna. Everything should be good like that. Once we go down, everything will look. Like we'll see it from very far away, and everything will look nice. Now we have to go and work. We have to work it in this side. That is how it looks like, if, you know, from far outside. It looks nice. Now we're inside. I have to go to the rack, as you can see. We're in the in the rack. There you have the cable. So it's just perfect, just above the tile ceiling. This is everything in the disaster, but I'm going to try to put the cable 
you know, against that corner, at least I did my part. Okay, we want to organize everything later. Everything should be good. We want to organize later. Some something will be good. Here, as you can see, this is the other bracket for the other building later. So now we are going to trim the other end. Or you can use maybe a strip cable tool. Now we put it inside of the plastic, the protector. to the R shape 45 now we can put it in the POE just grab the the right one the one the red one put it there now you have to follow the all the wiring they have and it goes to the switch you finish plugging in everything make sure that you have activity lights so that way you know that everything is working and you can set it up later through the network with another computer as you can see that is the antenna so that we install outside so that is how it looks like and everything is working i just finished the show everything is plugged in we have activity everything is good customer happy and see you in the next class if you want to see more of my classes uh, with the exclusive videos go to my website gabakusa.com and see you next time